Welcome, Dusklings. This is Eleanor. I'm Docs. Welcome back to Dark Duet Play. Yeah, Dark Duet Gaming plays. It moves. I was having a little bit of a difficulty for the puzzle, so we did actually complete that off screen. Additionally, yep. that means if you are playing through, you'll have to solve it on your own. <laughs> Alrighty, and let's continue. Oh look, more more moldy donuts. Oh, they have the same thing as last time. Have to kind of explore everything because you don't know where anything goes here. Hello. Is there something down here now? I don't think so. Okay. I didn't like that very much because there's nothing there. There's I know. Noise. I can see why bedtime was terrifying for this child. Yeah. Hi. Is that the stalker guy? I think again? that's the stalker thing. If you haven't guessed by now, Eleanor is the one playing this one. Oh, sorry. I get into things and then I kind of shut up. Uh. Uh. I can't go any faster uh, than this. Go faster, go faster, go faster. Ah. Uh, I couldn't go faster. What? Maybe that was supposed to happen? I couldn't go faster. Oh. Mom, I had a bad dream. Mom. That was not fun. Can I go over here now? I don't need to go here right now. Yeah. Mom, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Ah, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. Alright, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Ooh, get to go change clothes. Don't wear a fashionable t-shirt today. A fashionable t-shirt? Fashionable. Uh, okay. Okay. Magic. I because you need to stand right there to change clothes. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother you with the details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow felt still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. Oh, look, there's an arrow. How convenient it tells you where to go. Yeah. Oh, mom's not saying goodnight this time. Oh, well that's... Thanks, mom! Gee, thanks, mom. I had a nightmare and you're like, eh, whatever. Go to bed. Mommy's getting some tonight. Why? <laughs> Save? Yes. We're in a new place. Smiley face! What? Smiley face? Smiley face! Smiley face, sad face. Smiley face, sad face. Huh. Well, I can't go any further down that way. There's also like glowy things on the wall. Can you push them? Yes, you can. Ah, stop it. Maybe I need to push something up here too. No. Oh. Oh, it's an order. Damn it. So push that one. Now go push the last one. Okay. Ah. 
What is that? Uh I, I don't uh, <laughs> make the watermark go away. You're sprinting. I'm not trying to sprint. There was something there. Some kind of machinery. Uh, A wanted poster. No, really? Ventilation, maybe? The air's still stuffy, though. Look, there's another thing. Grab it. Hard to control when he's sprinting. Nothing of interest, I think. Okay, the watermark is starting to creep me out. A little bit. Ventilation, maybe? Oh. so hard to control while sprinting. At least the watermark's not getting like more visible. Go down. Go that way. Go down that way. Dude, little guy can, can book it. There, there's another one. Up, oh, down. Over there, there, that way, that way, up. Oh, uh, Darth Maul? I think so. That was less creepy now that I know what it was. When you awaken from the deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take a few minutes for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears even when lucid. Something was moving. There was no doubt about that. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light creeping in from outside to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. The first was that my parents were in bed because of the rest of the house lay both in darkness and in silence. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which had previously awoken me. That was it. Bed sheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. As if some disturbed sleeper was attempting all to get all comfortable in the bottom bunk. Oh. I lay there in disbelief, thinking that the noise was either my imagination or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. It was then that I noticed my door shut as it had been as I had fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on the cat had sneaked into my room then. Yes, that must be it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes in the vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought that I must have disturbed my cat, but quickly I realized that the visitor in the bunk was much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep, and much more sinister. As if alerted to and disgruntled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with engrossing ferocity. Okay, I know this is a cutscene, but I don't know how long it's going to last. Yeah. So we're going to cut this episode here and hope that you check out the next episode so you can see what's going on. Yeah, this is really good so far. This is very good. I would highly recommend trying this game. And I think this is just a preview, so I'm really excited to see what they do with the full game. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm Ellen. Uh, remember to uh, give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. Leave us a comment. All that wonderful stuff. Yeah, definitely check this game out. Definitely though. check it out. Um, I'm Eleanor. I'm Docs. Thank you for watching.